So H&M, as part of their fun, sophisticated persona, created an event that physically drew people to London and New York to be part of their treasure hunt. That's what we're looking for. But technology serves a more mundane purpose as well, like informing us, at least at that generational level that's walking around with their iPhone you know, two feet in front of their noses. What have you seen that will make you feel like you care about me as an individual? Good point. You're, you're all too right. As we look at pedestrians and uh, walking along the avenue, all too often we'll see that they do in fact carry their phone a few feet in front of their face. Um, you know, what we're looking to do is help merchants connect with one-on-one -on -one with the individual. And so to that extent, I'm going to take you to yet another retailer, um, and that's the Hugo Boss <coughs> uh, brand. So, huge retail house in Germany, owns 364 retail stores and 1,100 franchisees, with points of presence in 110 countries. What they've done is take window shopping to a whole new level. And so, recently, at Sloan Square in London, they went ahead during the Christmas season, and for three weeks, culminating in, at Christmas, they went ahead and dubbed what they call the Black, Black Magic Experience. Essentially providing shoppers the mechanism to participate in this campaign and then redeem their, uh, their game card for a game of virtual blackjack. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Um, it offered them uh, the ability to basically get coupon savings. You're going to see a pretty fast talking Brit about to come on the screen, but you're going to, uh, from this gather, how they've been able to Got an artificial. It's a fashion world first. This Christmas shoppers are flocking to Sloan Square to get a piece of the interaction at Hugo Boss. Yep, it's a stylish scoop. Shopping on the high street has become techno and a lot more interesting. This window display puts the magic back into any festive spending spree. Forget the bustling crowds, the complaining children, the aching feet. How about a little interactive fun? So first things first, pick up your free Hugo Boss Black Magic card, place it in front of the camera, and your interactive experience starts to happen. And already you can see that Hugo Boss is about to wish me season's greetings. There you go. And this is the fun bit. I can move my hand around on the screen, and a private fashion show is about to start for me. And just because I'm a presenter, you can kneel down and you can even be part of the show. <laughs> and wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, once this experience stops, I'm going to go inside the store to see if I've won some vouchers. This experience brings a whole new meaning to window shopping. It's the first ever interactive display and people are coming from all over London to get a piece of this fashion forward concept. Right, let's see if I'm a winner. So, with the same card, turn it around, and this time we are playing blackjack. So, fingers crossed. Everybody who has one of these cards has the chance to win a £50 voucher to spend in store. This image activates a game of blackjack to find out if you've won a winning card. Cong This is the 
hot is for the season. Okay. Mm, no. <laughs> it's a little too busy. Too purple. Too short. <laughs> too hot. Yeah, that's new. Okay. I think my mom wore this. <laughs> this is great. Flip. So let's dissect that a little bit further. You know, what you're having here is what Cisco technology put together as far as a virtual dressing room. It works really best in the store. It's about having an in-person experience, feeling the goods, and having a comfortable atmosphere, but also connection. There's connection between the merchant and the individual, the shopper's assistant here who's helping that individual through the, the experience. We talk about augmented reality, but we're actually augmenting the experience as well with the real person to help. Good stuff, sir. Really amazing. But the environment here, you know, is very diverse and getting more so. We've got 20,000 residents, building owners, restaurants and entertainment venues, institutions like museums, banks, and hospitals, hotels, and all the myriad businesses that serve them and their customers. We've got a lot of communication to do. We need to engage a whole raft of consumers. What do you see out there that will make an impact? Well, that's a good point, John. I mean, until now, we focused a great deal on retail and the shopper's experience. But Michigan Avenue is so much more. And, you know, one of the best ways to look at this is to not recreate the wheel, but to example, examine another wheel and look at augmented reality in another setting. One such venue is Hong Kong. Recently, the Hong Kong Tourism Board and Cathay Pacific put together a series of mobile applications that they provided both the residents as well as tourists. The concept was to com combine the augmented reality found on the phone as well as GPS positioning and the camera the smartphone to essentially provide a virtual map, a virtual tour of what's available for them in the city. They also were able to take advantage of 8,000 hotspots throughout the region. And the concept is that you're able to show all the constituents that are on Michigan Avenue, from the, the hoteliers to the nightlife to the award-winning restaurants and simply using the camera as a viewer on the phone. So here are two examples of those mobile applications. Uh, you'll see here on the left, it's an example of what you might see through a high-rise hotel window. By simply taking your phone and pointing it out the window, you would see the landscape, but then overlaid on that are all of the different venues and points of interest that are available. On the right, you see an example of self-guided tours that are available for different demographic constituents. So whether it be the 20-something, 30-something year old individuals, or whether it be an older group, the ability to go ahead and have a guided tour through the city. It looks like Chicago, doesn't it? That's a really practical use of an emerging, emerging technology. Sid, one of the reasons, one of the things I keep hearing, both from colleagues at GNMAA and from my own business customers, is how they worry about the ever more sophisticated use of technology to engage people in a virtual world and not the real one. Shopping online is just the tip of the iceberg. Take banking. How many of you have successfully avoided a bank lobby for the last month, the last year, forever? In fact, First American has now rolled out mobile banking so that you don't even have to sit still to do business with us. And our company, like all of you, has a significant investment in real estate, in physical locations. We make a grim joke that in order to attract new customers, we absolutely must have lots of locations where no one plans to do any business. But literally, research continues to show that the customers won't move his business unless we're absolutely convenient. Sid, the virtual world, is the virtual world likely to dominate the physical? Are we doomed to empty restaurants and inventory less stores? Well, John, today's consumer is looking to engage the Michigan Avenue experience. And that goes beyond simply shopping. It goes to being able to be a part of something, be a part of a cause. And so recently, this summer, um, the Salvation Army actually looked at a movement to erase hunger. 
as part of their Chicago campaign, they sought to use mobile technology to engage the, the consumer. So using unique street level interactive presentation and engaging the knee in a physical presence. And they achieved their objectives. They were able to capture the philanthropic desire that all of us have to give back by being able to generate thousands of lasting impressions, collecting a series of donations, and creating awareness of the Salvation Army mission. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this played out in the local venue. So if you text the number, yeah. the speed, um, it changes the screen and it tells you how to donate. Thank you, sir. Um, I don't think we've got time for questions, but uh, if anybody wants to stick around. 